Thank you very much. We are the Guide Trio from Los Angeles, California. You're listening to Elizabeth Goodfellow on the drums. <laughs> Nadav Pellet on the guitar. My name is Jake Leckie. I play the bass. Um, we are going to play a set of brand new music for you. Uh, you are our test audience. I hope you don't mind. Um, so, uh, and it's interactive. If you have any questions, you can either save them for the end, or if you have something to ask right now, you can ask it right now or after the next song, but maybe not during a song because it'd be hard to hear you. Um, so if you have any questions for us, feel free. Pretend this is our living room. We're very happy to be playing for you today. Uh, thank you for coming out. And uh, that first song was called Clear Skies. And this next song is called String Song, and we dedicate it to the great drummer, Lee Von Helm, of the band.
<laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, has anybody thought of a question for the group? You could ask one of us individually or ask us as a group and we'll try to answer all at the same time. Yeah. I hope it's also fun to listen to. <laughs> it was fun for us to play. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that tune is, so, so I have three rules of composition. One is that it has to be one page long, easy to read, and third one is fun to play. Uh, and so the page only has sort of certain parameters. It's only sort of the, it's like a tune, like, like a, it might be, I don't know how long that one is, like 16 bars or whatever. Um, but then we improvise based either on the theme, like the riff, or on the set of chord changes, and all of that stuff is sort of made up as a group on the spot. So what you hear, like uh, a small part of that was composed, but then we sort of reinterpret it every time, and it's clearly if you transcribe what we just played, it would take up, you know, 50 pages, but it's just one page that we're working off of. It's a good question. Thank you. Any others? You want to hear another? Oh, Pablo, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good observation. Um, I So my, everybody's composition process is a little bit different. Usually I start with improvising, so I'll just get my bass out and I'll turn my voice memos on on my phone and I'll just record myself playing for an hour. And then I'll go back at some point in the day when I'm driving and I'll pick out something that's like, oh, that's a, that's a cool idea. I'll develop that and then I develop it. And then a big part of my process is workshopping. So I'll bring it to my friends who I trust and they will tell me if it's good or not. And if it's not good, they usually help me fix it to tweak it and make it better. Um, but then the parts that we played in unison, I don't know, that just sort of develops organically. Um, yeah. About right. You want to add anything to that? I'm going to stop using this so we can all speak.
I think I just hear the phrases. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to answer that. Um, yeah, I just hear, I just hear like the, the groove in a certain way. Like I often, I often write with a groove in mind. Like after I figure out an idea on the bass, I'll often go to the piano. And I'll just play the piano and like I'll set up a groove and then like write the melody over top of that. And this one actually, this tune was derived from another tune that I wrote in five, and I wrote it on guitar. I was on vacation and I just had a guitar with me. And for some reason I was just like playing this groove in five just for ever. And that, that tune came out of that. And then this new one was developed from that because that, that tune wasn't quite working. And so I decided to kind of put it on the back burner and develop something new with this one. Um, and so it just kind of came from the other composition. But yeah, I, yeah, it's a um, good question. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> uh, can you play another one? Um, this next one is called Canoe. 
and um, it is the, the, ins the instruction. I don't, oh, and to get back to Beth's point, like about my experience being one page long, when you're playing with good improvisers, you don't really have to give them a lot to get a lot. Um, so I don't really have to give them much direction at all. So I rarely, if, if I feel like they could make a better decision than I could about the composition, then I just leave it up to them. But uh, the direction on this one, at the top of the page, it says, drifting in a light swing. That's perfect. I was supposed to start this morning. Drifting. I forgot. She was drifting. <laughs>
questions? Uh, anybody feeling brave who hadn't asked the other questions? And we didn't feel like asking before. So we answered all of the questions possible. That's it. Good set. Yeah.
I, uh, you know, I, I never uh, checked out so much Steve Howe, honestly. But, you know, everybody's got their, uh, you know, when, when they listen to somebody, like I got a lot of, uh, when people come to me and they're like, yo, you know, really uh, are influenced by Jim Hall. I just want to plug. We have a we have a record out. It's on the internet. So I mean, if you have a, a, a old car, or an old computer, you can get a CD from us. But um, uh, it's called the Guide, uh, and it's and it's our 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 first record. Oh, we're preparing all this music that you're hearing for a new record. So when I this is not my bass. When I get my bass back from the shop, we'll go into the studio. So I'm going to record on my bass. So keep keep out keep your eyes out for that. Um, I think we have time for one or two more. All right, this next one is called uh, Planter of Seas. Um, yeah, I wrote it for somebody who's very, who was very special to me. She passed away uh, last year. It's not a sad story. She lived a very long life, um, a beautiful life, and she was a beautiful person. Uh, but there is a story about her I heard at her funeral, which she, whenever she visited a friend or a, or a relative, she'd always have these seeds in her pocket, and she'd go to their garden and kind of spread plant seeds around, and then for the next season, whoever's house it was would have these plants sprouting up, and they wouldn't know if it was a weed or a flower or what it was, but they could tell that, that she had been there. Um, and I thought that was such a beautiful gesture, and such a, you know, to try to bring beauty into this world, and that was just a small way she did it. Um, and this one is called Planter of Seeds.
listen to Elizabeth Goodfellow on the drums. Madonna's Coward on the guitar. I'm Jake, I play the bass. Thank you guys so much for listening and giving us the space. Thank you, Dr. Gaga and Dr. Maison and uh, DJ up in the booth. Really appreciate you all coming out. Um, we have time for like two more questions, I guess, and then we should probably split. Yeah. Well, I, I know what it sounds like, and it, or I know what it feels like when Nadav finishes his solo. Like I sort of feel the next thing coming. And so at that point, it would have either been play a bass solo or do some, play a drum solo or do something else. And I looked at, I snuck a, snuck a peek at my watch, and I saw that we were almost out of time. So I figured rather than play a bass solo, let's just play, play the tune out. Question. But yeah, that, that telepathy develops with playing, playing with these guys a lot. And this is not the only music we play. I mean, this is sort of like, we're, we're sort of three bands, uh, depending on who's leading. Um, and so this particular performance was of, of, of my music, but we do other performances when Beth is leading or Nadav is leading in there. And we play different sets of music for that. And so it's nice to like play in a bunch of different contexts and then bring all of that as reference into, into what we do. Yeah. Uh, so this trio is a result of the pandemic. Um, we started playing uh, like every week on Saturday afternoon outside of my house for the neighbors. Uh, back, back when we weren't playing inside, we would just get out with our, you know, whatever the most recent requirements were wearing masks or social distance and we just played together every Saturday on the front lawn. We were mostly just playing tunes, playing like American songbook standards or you know just jamming. Um, and so I can't remember exactly when that was. Say it was in May or June? Yeah. Maybe before that, maybe April. So for a couple of years I guess. And then I had a bunch of music that I wanted to record, so I brought them into the studio and we made that, that trio record and we've been playing a lot since, so that's how, that's how it started. W one, one good thing that came out of the pandemic for us. Yeah. Oh yeah, I brought more than just one. Um, and my, my, my first record I have on vinyl too, I didn't bring any copies of it. Uh, that, but I have a couple of the CDs here if you want to buy one. Any other questions? Well, thank you guys so much for having us. You're the guy trio from Los Angeles. Thank you very much.